All right, we're back yet again with another car video. Um, today's gonna be about, we live in a boring world with boring businesses, with um, a lot of competition, yet not really. Now, today we're gonna talk about a handful of different things, so bear with me if you don't wanna hear this, then click off the fucking video. But for those of you that wanna stay and just get like some real shit, um, the reason that inspired me to make this video is I was chatting with my mom today and earlier with my buddy about leaving testimonials. And I said, nowadays, uh, so many people, and even just back in like every every day, um, people leave such generic, boring testimonials, right? Like, oh, he did great, he was awesome, he did a good job, fun to work with. All these lame, broad, generic compliments that don't mean anything, right? When someone says to you, oh yeah, you look good, it's like, okay, cool, thanks, right? When someone says, hey man, I really like the way you piece together your outfit and how the colors match. I think there's a lot of cool creative thoughts that went with that. Show it to you. And that's like, damn, like, thank you. Like, you went, like, you looked at all that to compliment me. Like, like thank you about that, right? When someone someone compliments, like, you know, um, an attribute about you, you know, it's like, hey man, I like the way that you solve problems. I like the way, I like your thought process around solving problems and how you do ABC. I, I admire that about you. That is, like, getting that kind of compliment is of way higher value than just someone saying, oh yeah, you're cool, you're funny, you're nice, right? Um, and it got me thinking that now, like nowadays we live in a world where so many businesses are so boring, right? Like the other day I was out for a bike ride and I went past like this local pharmacy and it was like um, proudly serving customers since, you know, 1982. Um, and then on the side, on the side it said like, with you in mind. And I'm like, everybody says that, right? Everyone says, oh, number one, or with you in mind, or customer driven, all this bullshit. But very few show that, right? A lot of people claim it, but very few show it. Which got me thinking of this article I was reading a couple weeks ago about authenticity, and how people are trying to be authentic, but like, that's the problem, is trying to be authentic. You've already fundamentally misunderstood the concept if you're trying to be authentic. Being authentic, authenticity in and of itself, is not something you try to do. It is inherently who you are, what you are, what, you, what you're doing, right? Like, maybe I'm putting on an act right now because it's a YouTube video, yada, 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 uh, but I argue that if you kind of somewhat know me, they're like, this is pretty much me, and I try and be as authentically myself as possible. And as a matter of fact, the reason why I love YouTube and filming videos is because I feel I get to express myself for who I am, which is why I love these videos, right? Which, to bring it back on topic, the thing I want to talk about today um, is this idea of, of competition and uniqueness and specificity and all these things. Um, which brings me to one more example of, of something I want to talk about today. Which the other day, I heard uh, somebody comments on one of my YouTube videos, Hey Stefan, is this a good offer? And it was like, um, we help personal trainers get, you know, it was like three deals in 90 days with only three hours of their time. And I was like, dude, sure, the offer is good, it has a cool outcome, but like, it's the same as every single other person I've ever heard before, like ever. I said, it's not unique, it's not specific, it's it's boring, it's lame, and it's not something that people wanna click on. As a matter of fact, nowadays, everybody offers the same shit. Like, everybody offers the same cool guarantees, everybody has amazing offers, because Alex Shimozzi has made it easy for us to make good offers. And so we live in a world where making good offers is easy now, and we like, that is not something we even have to worry about is how to make a good offer. It's how can we make the person believe what we say and how can we make them choose us over the hundreds of other options out there because there is so many other options, right? And I think the first place it starts is with being different, which fundamentally, to be different in a place where everybody is the same, you have to be yourself. I'll say it again. Fundamentally, to be different in a place in which everybody is the same, you have to be yourself because nobody can be you. Which is why I think that the businesses well, granted, if you're trying to make a trillion dollar business and go corporate, don't listen to this shit, right? But if you're like <laughs> anything like I am, right? And your goal is not necessarily to build a billion dollar company, at least not the forefront of your goal, right? And you're like, hey, let me build something cool that actually means something. I think that you have to operate, like your business is you to an extent. And I think the businesses that demonstrate that and that have these uh, really like you, unique core values are the ones that stand out and do exceptionally well, right? Like even if we think of, uh, Gymshark, right? Now, granted, Gymshark is going more mainstream now, but back in the day, like, Gymshark wasn't trying to fill all the buckets. As a matter of fact, cool story about this, Gymshark is trying to go back to that. They just signed Seabum to be a part owner of the company because they want to go back to that root of, like, just gym guys, you know, like gym rats, like, 
those kind of guys, not this mainstream bullshit, which obviously they dive into, um, but they're cutting that back because I don't know if it was Gymshark or another company that said they lost a whole bunch of money after trying to you know fill everybody's shoes and make them all happy, the same like uh, Budweiser or Bud Light did. I think it was Bud Light, right? To try to go with the gay shit, all their customers were like, hey, that's not us, fuck you, went on strike and then lost a bunch of money, never did it again. We digress. Um, the point is that these companies that express their core, va core values, here's what happens. I, mean, I made a video talking about this on my second channel about how um, I said, like, stop being a pussy in your marketing, right? Which is that nowadays, everybody's trying to please everybody. But everybody knows saying that when you try and please everybody, when you try and help everybody, you end up helping nobody. And it's so true in your marketing. If you try and if you try and close everybody, you try and market to everybody, you try and appeal to everybody, you end up appealing to nobody. Because here's the thing, people appeal and, and resonate with specificity. Right, like if someone says, "Hey, man, listen up," like, if like, no one gives a fuck. Like, it's not cool. It's like there's billions of men out there, and no one really gives a fuck, right? But when someone says, like, um, "Hey, man, under thirty, who are trying to get a six pack in city name with a girlfriend," and that and that's you, you're gonna be like, "Oh shit!" And you're gonna listen. And here's what happens: is if that's not you, that's perfect because they couldn't sell to you anyway in the first place. But if that is you, you now listen to like, holy shit, like how did this guy get so pinpoint on me? And what happens is now the person listens and now they're interested and now they're intrigued because they resonate, right? And I think this goes so like, even if we fundamentally look at like real estate agents who I've worked a lot with in the past, right? Fundamentally speaking, all agents are the same. I don't care what you say. Fundamentally, all they do is help you buy or sell your house. That's it. Simple as that, okay? And so, what one of the big things that was at my forefront of what I was helping my agents do, instead of like trying to be like, hey, I'm another agent, is we try to sell their story and who they are. Because at the end of the day, somebody picks their realtor not based off who is the best. They they want to say that, and obviously they want somebody who's good. But in reality, they pick somebody based off of feel, based off of vibes, based off of relationship, okay? And. If we just take that relationship, vibe, feel, etc., if we want to get more clients, we have to resonate with more people. Now, let me ask you a question. All of your friends now, do you resonate with them just because they're nice people or because there's some underlying thing that you guys connect with on a deeper level? Well, most of you, I'd argue, is a ladder, right? It's like you connect people on a deeper level. Let me ask you another question. Imagine if you see another guy, imagine if you're a guy, okay, and you see another guy on the street. Do you instantly feel compelled to have a connection? Well, not, not really, okay? Holy shit, what the fuck is going on here? Not really. Like, not really, no, right? Like, okay, cool, he's a man, but like, you don't feel like all of a sudden, like, we're best friends all of a sudden, okay? Let me take, let's take it up a notch. Let's say you're a man, you see another man, and he's wearing your favorite sports team jersey. Now, do you feel a bit of a connection? Of course you do, a little bit, you're like, oh shit, like that guy, right? Let me ask you, let's go a step further. Same sports team, same favorite player. Now, where's the connection at? Okay, um, I mean, you could just take it to the more extreme, right? Like, maybe he's the same age, right? So you're 18 and the guy looks like he's about 18. Same sports team, same player. And maybe you guys are wearing the same hat, even. How how close of a connection, how much re how much resonation do you feel with this guy already that you've never met before? Well, a lot more. Why is that? Specificity, right? Specificity of something you're interested in. And so, here's the thing, is this doesn't just apply to your marketing, it doesn't just apply to your sales, it doesn't just apply to your offer, your business, and it even, it like, even applies to testimonials. The point is, this applies to everything in day-to-day -day life. And and here's what's gonna happen, right? We're like, oh, but Stefano, if we do that, we piss off some of the market. Yeah, you do. But like, that's the whole point, right? You piss off 80% of the market, but then you have 20% of the market resonate with you. And like, not just like, oh yeah, we like them, like they fuck with you, fuck with you, right? To so the point where like, they're like, oh, like, I bond to that, which is one of the reasons why people that work with just veterans are so, so, so successful. You could argue veterans is a very small demographic, right? Um, I don't know the financial statistics on this. I'm not going to say anything, right? But relatively speaking to the rest of the market is a very small demographic. So why do people that, you know, put veterans at the forefront of the business and the marketing do so well? I'll tell you why. Because when a veteran sees that, they instantly have a connection. They have a resonation. And they want to do business with that guy because they're in the same boat as them. And they share some sort of similarities. And so they like that. And so their marketing and their offer is more, even if their offer fundamentally could be worse, they'll get a higher take rate on the people that they market to that are in that market because of how the specificity, okay? And so I guess the point, I mean, I hope that you've got something from this you can already take and apply, but I guess the point is that like, 
We live in a day and age where everybody is so bored. I mean, just look around. Like, try and have a conversation with people. It's impossible. Like, everybody is genuinely so boring, especially businesses, okay? And so the more that you can stand out and project your core values, like, fundamentally, that's what I'm trying to do here, is express my core values, okay? And like, just be unapologetically who I am. And here's the funny thing, is sometimes in YouTube comments, it pisses people off. Like, someone will be like, oh, Stefan, fuck you, you clickbaited me or some shit, whatever, right? But then on the flip side of that, I also have other people in the same comment section thanking me and praising me for sharing my thoughts on the subject. And so it's like, the point is proven, right? That like, you get some people to hate you and that's totally fine because like, you weren't gonna sell them in the first place. So why would we try and make them happy, right? Like, the people that weren't gonna buy, weren't gonna buy already. And so us trying to like, appeal to them isn't gonna do anything. And so why not just lean even more into our customers who would actually buy and just resonate with them even more? Right? I'm trying to think of like some action steps. Maybe I hope you've already got some ideas of things that you can try to implement. The, but the point is like, dude, there's no competition. Like if you genuinely look out there, there's no competition. And I urge you to to be yourself and 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 share some of your core values and be be hard in your marketing, right? Like don't like don't be so soft in this pussy shit where you try and please everybody and make everybody happy, yada yada yada, and all this bullshit. Like don't do that. Right? It's 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 lame, it's boring, nobody likes it, right? When you see a sign from a company that says we a uh, customer first. Do you believe that? Do you resonate with it? Do you feel compelled? Do you feel moved? Do you feel driven to, to do something or anything like that? No, you don't, right? And so what we got to try and do is as business owners is try and like share, especially most of you watching this playground or business that is like oriented around yourself. I know I do, okay? And so your biggest selling point is quite literally you because the difference between you and any other business owner, well, if you both do the same thing, then the difference is you. And so the better you can sell yourself and get people to buy into you, the, like, the more clients you have. And so I think, I think this is a fascinating subject that I think the more and more and more we go into business will become even more important because as, as the world keeps going on um, and as we keep living, trust is going to get lower and lower and lower and lower and lower and skepticism will go higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. And so I've been saying this, I'll say this till the day that I think the hardest thing that entrepreneurs will face moving forward um, isn't offers or yada, yada, yada. It's going to be trust, right? It's like, will people actually believe what you're saying? And I think one of the best ways to have people believe what you're saying is to build a brand that actually stands for something, okay? And so I don't mean a brand that tries to please everybody, okay? I mean a brand that stands for something, right? If you go look at my socials, like, you'll probably find a picture of me with like a Nerf gun, or actually it's not even a Nerf gun, it's like a, it's like a assault gun that you shoot, like, um, little, uh, like, insects with and stuff inside your house. It's so, super funny. Like, you'll see that, like, if you go look at me, I'm not your average Joe, at least I try not to be. Okay, you can go check my Instagram, go check my Twitter, whatever, right? You'll see, I'm probably not your average Joe. And so, my point with that is, like, I'm not trying to, like, please everybody, which is why, like, I make videos in the car like this, or, which is why I don't, like, I don't care about looking professional and all that kind of stuff, because, like, that's not, like, that's not me. Like, I mean, I wear a suit, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to, like, like, there's a lot of, like, dick riders out there, and people who, who try and just, like, you know, people bleachers, try and please everybody, yeah, like, we've all, we all know them, we all work with them, maybe you are one, et cetera, right? Um, but, like, I know for a fact that, especially in, in the game of business, that's not what makes people buy. That's not what people resonate with, um, and as a matter of fact, it's boring, and it's lame, and it's, it's a disadvantage, almost, I would say, to try and please everybody, because you end up harming yourself, alrighty? And so... I know we'd be ranting, and that's the whole theme of these videos is I just rant in my car while I drive to places to make my drive shorter. And I actually like it, it's quite fun. Um, but even like in testimonials, right? Like if, if you're gonna get a testimonial, if you're gonna give a testimonial, don't just say the generic broad bullshit that everybody else does. Great to work with, fun, like no, right? Like get specific because what happens is when a customer, like if a customer is reading or a prospect is reading testimonials to, to be on the verge of buying or not, right? Like. If they see someone say, oh, he did a good job, that isn't going to move them. But if they see a story about how somebody was feeling a certain way and that's somehow the same way as them and they resonate with that and then they see how they took they took the job, they took the leap of faith and now they changed and they got an amazing end result, that's what moves people. That's what makes people go, oh shit, that's me. So I guess an action step is when you leave this video, okay, next time you write a testimonial, try this. The next time you ask for a testimonial, try this as well. Now, granted, apply this to everything. Right, like, stop being so lame. Stop being so boring, and be specific. Like, start to be specific. Start to have some values for your company. If your company is you, then it's your values. Okay. And the coolest thing about this is you'll be like astonished if you do this on a long enough time horizon. How much, 
how much more fun business gets because the people that resonate with you resonate with you. And it makes it so much easier to talk to them, to work with them, etc. right? Like when I hop on sales calls with people, right? It's almost fun because like I, they already feel like they really know me and because they know me, they must like my values to some extent and therefore we get along quite well, right? And so it's, um, it works out, it works out phenomenally well. Like it works out incredibly well, which is that when you like, when you stop trying to please everybody, uh, what happens is you repel the people you don't want anyway, and who wouldn't have bought, and you wouldn't be good prospects, and you wouldn't be cl- good clients regardless. You repel them anyways. Wow, this guy just did like a savage move on the motorbike. He just like passed on the full right hand side. That is crazy. Okay, but you repel the people you, they, that wouldn't have bought anyway, and you attract the people who are gonna buy even more so to the point where them buying becomes easy and it becomes seamless because they already resonate with you so much that it's not like this awkward like rapport building because you already have so much connection built up, right? Like when, if you're a veteran and you have a business that serves veterans, when a veteran comes in, it's like you have this instantaneous connection, like with the example with, you know, the man on the street with the same uh, jersey, same player, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna merge here so I don't get fucked over in this traffic. Not there's much traffic where I live, okay? Um, we're gonna wrap it up in a minute here. What the fuck's going on behind me? Anyways, you gotta be vigilant when you're driving, okay? Like, obviously you gotta be, you know, head up and whatnot, but like, often we think, of, oh, I'm driving safe, but it's like, yeah, what are others doing? Like, what the fuck? Like, other people are so shit driving, you gotta be vigilant and have your head on a swivel to make sure, like, hey, what's this guy doing? What's that guy doing? Anyways, we digress. I'm on, this isn't no driving instructions, okay? That's, that's the last thing I'm gonna fucking talk about. Um, but I guess to wrap this up is that stop being so lame and, and start to get specific. Start to be unique, right? Start to stand out from your competition. And the easiest way to do that is just by being you, which is overlook. And like, I'm honest, like, once again, don't try to be you. Don't try to like, don't try. Like, just be like, just unapologetically be yourself for who you are and your values. And like, yes, it will turn people away. But I can promise you, seriously, from own experience, those people would have never been a good fit for your thing in the first place. Okay? Would have never, ever, ever been a good fit in the first place. And so why are we trying to attract them anyways? Because even if they do buy, most of those customers end up like refunding or canceling or whatever the case is. Okay? And so whether they refund or cancel or just a pain in the ass to work with, it's almost never worth it. Ready? So with that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. If this is your first time watching me, or maybe you've watched me before, um, and you kind of like me, right? And you, and you fuck with me. If you don't fuck with me, don't listen to this. You probably wouldn't be here in the first place. But if you do fuck with me, and you kind of like the stuff I'm saying, I've got a free school committee. You can check it out. There's a link down below. Uh, you can join it. You can talk to me. I answer all my DMs. It's not me. It's, 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 it's I mean, <laughs> it is me. My bad. It's not a VA. It's me. Uh, there's nobody else. Like, I am one man team as of now. Uh, and I plan to keep it that way, therefore, because once again, VA can't copy your values and, and the way you speak and the way you touch people. And so, um, you know, I do that. Like, I answer all the messages myself. So if you want to come talk to me or hop on calls with me, I host free calls in there. Or just maybe you're like, hey, Stefan, I don't fucking like you at all, but I do want stuff from you. Everything I've ever made is in, for free in there. Like, my SOPs, courses, assets, PDFs, like, mural boards, lucid charts, you name it. It's all in there for free. No opt-in. It's all inside my community. It's all there for free take it, steal it, run with it, use it, make a bunch of money. Um, you owe it to yourself to be great. So go out there and get it done. This video is long enough. And if I keep talking, my view duration is going to go down. And as a result, I'll get less views. And I kind of like getting views. It makes me feel good. So I'm going to shut the fuck up, get back to driving, and let you on with your day. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.